Welcome back. In this video, I'll demonstrate the process of using a network material edit node to make adjustments to a network material scene graph location, which has been brought in through a look file. This is a typical example of when a network material edit node is useful, as the network material could have been created in a different department, with the original network material create node in a separate project altogether. Download the asset files and open the Dragon Katana project if you'd like to follow along with this example. Something to be aware of if you're using this example project is that look files must be rebaked when transferred from one computer to another. This is because the absolute file paths for the texture files are baked into the look file. In this example, I've included the original network with the materials, so you can easily rebake this look file. You can go ahead and overwrite the existing dragon.klf. Once that's done, you can delete the network if you like, or keep it there for reference. Let's say you've been working on this shot, and have been told that the look dev for the dragon needs changing, but the parameters that need to be changed haven't been exposed during the look development process. Previously, you'd have to use the network material parameter edit node or the network material splice node to make any changes, and with a complicated network, this wouldn't be a simple process. With the new network material edit node, that workflow has been improved so that you can see precisely how the original material was created. First of all, we need to bring the network materials into the project by decoding the information from the look file. Add a look file manager node to the network underneath the look file resolve node. In the parameters, right click in the look file box and select find all look files in scene. In the pop-up window, right click the dragon look file and choose Add look file. Close the window and in the scene graph you'll see that the materials baked to this look file have been brought into the project. We can now go ahead and delete the look file resolve node as the look file manager node points the assets to the look file materials that we just brought in. So we don't want the materials to have been baked by the look file resolve node beforehand. Now we can begin making changes to this dragon's material. Create a network material edit node and connect it to the network underneath the look file manager node. Open its parameters and middle mouse drag the dragon network material from the scene graph into the scene graph location text field. When you enter the network material edit node, you'll see an exact copy of the original network. Now you're able to make the necessary changes to the parameters of any node in your network. For example, open the parameters for the DL principal shading node and adjust the subsurface scale or the base roughness. You can also create new nodes and remove existing ones. Bear in mind, you can only make changes to the nodes which contribute to the final output. If a node has been left disconnected, it will appear locked. If you want to learn more about look files, head to learn.foundry.com forward slash katana, where you can find a core concept series, which goes through how to create and bake look files, as well as other key principles of katana. In the next video, I'll go through how to use the network material edit node to make adjustments to an asset on a per shot basis.